as arm knitting, knitting with giant knitting needles, and crocheting with huge crochet hooks has become more popular. So has jumbo yarn. I got four different jumbo yarns from two of my nearby big box craft stores, and I'm going to try them out to see what it's like to spin. Why spin jumbo yarn? Well, number one is cost. This is a little easier on my budget than some of my dream roving that's out there that I would love to support, but honestly, sometimes I just can't afford it. So if this fits the budget, I'd rather be spinning than not spinning at all. Number two is practice. Sometimes I wanna try a new technique or sometimes I just wanna treadle and treadle and treadle and get that fiber through my hands for practice. Number three is preference. As you will see, as I list out each one, these have different blends and sometimes we need certain things for certain projects. Number four is I'm a spinner and I don't know about you, but I look at stuff and think, hmm, could I spin that? So of course, if I see something that looks really spinnable, I'm gonna try and spin it. I'm going to spin a bobbin full of each of the different jumbo yarns. I will talk about what it's like to spin each one as I go and we'll see how they turn out. This reminds me very much of spinning a roving that came off of a comb or a hackle. There are, every now and then, I feel a little snag or snarl pass through my fingers. It's not really affecting the draftability. And I'm also noticing there is some static. This is sticking up. There is some static building up in this. Which can happen with any fiber, but it tends to happen less with wool that has lanolin in it. I spun some really, really soft llama one time, and boy was that staticky. But I would say the acrylic polyester definitely will have a tendency to hold that static. I'll have to go touch a doorknob, discharge myself. So with the colors, the multiple colors in here, you can see that this does already have some twist to it. By breaking it off into pieces, I'm able to let it dangle down and untwist itself as I draft. If I kept it in one giant piece and just started spinning from the end, that twist would build up and it would become more and more difficult to draft as I went along. So I do recommend not just taking the whole thing and starting from one end and going till you get to the other end because I think at some point it's going to bunch up and become more uh, difficult to draft out. It's definitely slippery to spin with this. But it is also pretty soft. Before I start spinning this next jumbo yarn, this chunky Lux big <laughs> yarn, I wanted to give you a tip about the end if you do decide to spin this for yourself. The end is cut. The reason that matters is because there are going to be fibers in here that will be short and will fall out of your spinning. So I go just a little ways in space my hands apart and gently pull until oh there it goes it just comes apart and I have this fluff this little end piece but that way I won't have to deal with any of these short cut off bits in my spinning because they would fall out or pill or make things difficult this one is 100% acrylic and it is very shiny and very silky. It's soft, 
So it, it has that going for it for sure, but it is, oh, it's slick. It's more dense than the other one as well. It reminds me of spinning, um, it reminds me of spinning Angora bunny fur. I actually used to have Angoras. We lived on a ranch in Wyoming and I raised Angoras when we were out there, but I preferred to spin Angora with a drop spindle simply because it was so slick. It was so slippery. And this feels similar, actually. So that's what I have to say about this one. It's pretty, it has a shine. It's a nice color, I like the color. But man, it is slippery. Immediately, this one is spinning much thinner than the others were. Just right off the bat, it is a much thinner draft. So I'm going to bring it a little thicker just because I want the thickness of the single to compare across the board. It feels similar to the stretched taffy, but maybe it's because I have spun so much wool I can feel it. I recognize it. This one is not as soft as the other two were. It is soft. It's not rough, but it's not as soft. I would say If you want practice for spinning wool before you invest in wool roving to spin, this is a good practice. There's a little It's just a truck outside. Are you ready to bark at the door? Is that what you're doing? Yeah, I heard it. It's just a truck. Yeah, it's just a truck. It's okay. No, we're not going outside. You already went outside. I'm spinning right now. This is spinning quickly. It is spinning easily. I can feel the wool content. It's not 100%, of course. Um, but I would say if you're practicing learning to spin, uh, this would be a really good option. How is this one spinning? I would say a little tricky. It sticks. I'm not sure why. It does have a slightly more wool-ish feel to it. There's a crispness, crispness to it. Um, but it's it's like it's too much of that characteristic. And it is a little hard to draft. So I'm I'm going to split this before I continue. I think that'll make it easier. All right, that is easier. It doesn't feel coarse or harsh. It just, wow, look at the static be building up. That's, there's a lot of static building up. It, it doesn't feel coarse. It doesn't feel harsh. It just feels like there's no slip between the fibers. I will say that I am a little surprised at this. I thought just from the general feel of it, when I purchased it, 
it felt like it would be the most wool like of all of the jumbo yarns and I'm finding it very difficult to draft it's very sticky and it's hard to work with at the wheel if you want practice and you have trouble with your tension being too high and the take up being too fast I feel like this would be even more frustrating because it is so hard to draft if you're trying to draft it quickly to keep up with your intake um, <laughs> but I'm gonna go ahead and finish this bobbin up and give you all of my final thoughts while we're here please please subscribe to my channel it's encouraging to know someone out there is watching and uh, sort of gives me a little motivation to keep doing videos so I'd appreciate it if you would subscribe also check out my blog I will put the link in the description below and there will also be descriptions for each of these jumbo yarns in case you'd like to practice or use some of this for your own projects at home you'll know uh, what the name of it is and where I purchased it from so you can get it on your own my bobbin just broke my bobbin just broke I'm literally holding it together if if I let it go it's gonna just each one had some characteristics that were expected and some characteristics that were a surprise something unexpected thank you so much for joining me on this fiber adventure I hope to see you again soon please consider subscribing if you want to see more videos and I will Catch you in the next one.